up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2022 mitsubishi mirage g4 courtesy of younger mitsubishi in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so i'm in this one today because this may very well be the most inexpensive vehicle available at this current time not only that if you do go to younger mitsubishi and were to purchase any mitsubishi there you're actually going to get double a powertrain warranty which means you get 20 years 200,000 miles on the powertrain so wherever you're from it might be worth your drive i'm just saying but anyways in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are a few different trim levels for the 2022 mirage g4 first one being the es five speed manual starting at fifteen thousand six hundred forty five dollars for the brand new car that's crazy then you have the es cvt which actually is the one we have today starting at sixteen thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars then there is the le starting at seventeen thousand five ninety five black edition which is a new trim level for the 2022 model year starting at eighteen thousand one hundred ninety five dollars and lastly, the SE starting at $18,695. But regardless of trim level that you go with, the power plant on the Mirage G4 is going to be the same. Powering the little beast is a 1.2 liter naturally aspirated inline three cylinder engine, putting out 76 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, 74 pound feet of torque coming in at 4,000 RPM. Power sent to the front wheels again through either a five speed manual or a CVT. Zero to 60 time is going to come in at approximately 12.8 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 33 in the city, 40 on the highway for the manual transmission, 35 city, 41 then on the highway for the CVT taking regular unleaded fuel. But so now having got all of that out of the way as we're coming up to a red light here, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and put the Mirage G4 here to the test again. Not the quickest thing in the world on paper here, but let's go ahead and uh, test out the acceleration. And let's see how quickly we can get our new 2022 Mirage G4 here up to speed. Okay. All right, we're at 40. Still going 50. 55. We might hit it. We're at 60. Hey. <laughs> Okay, quite possibly the slowest car I've ever tested, but you know what? This car is not necessarily for racing. Go figure. I bet you guys didn't know that. If you're buying this car, you're buying this car to save money first off because maybe you want to spend money on other things. You're also buying it for very efficient fuel economy, of course, and maybe you live in a city where you don't necessarily need to merge onto highways or you need to get up to 60 miles per hour quickly. So this car serves a certain purpose but it is definitely not speed i'll give you that but anyway to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and actually coming standard for the mirage g4 is going to be front disc rear drum brakes so as far as the braking feel goes it's been okay definitely not too bad honestly for the size of this vehicle you probably don't need four-wheel disc brakes and i know even the nissan sentra doesn't come standard with four-wheel disc brakes that actually gets front disc rear drums coming standard as well which is kind of interesting so not all vehicles have it because it does depend on the weight of the vehicle with this small thing you probably don't need it so braking feel has been perfectly fine as far as suspension and handling goes up front you're going to get an independent mcpherson strut front suspension in the back torsen beam rear axle as far as ride quality goes it's actually i don't know it's not too bad i don't mind it so far i mean you are going to feel a good bit more of the road with a smaller vehicle like this comparatively speaking to some other ones but it's not bad it's not as bad as i thought it would be i'll just put it that way as far as cabin noise goes that's where you can definitely notice it. There's a good bit of uh, exterior wind noise coming into the cab, and not only that, the engine noise gets really loud when you really hit the gas, and even when you first turn it on, you you notice it immediately. Like, all of that engine noise comes right into the cabin, which if you're a car person, if you're a car guy or girl, that's not gonna be a bad thing. I personally don't mind it, but it's a decent amount, I'm just saying. As far as steering feel goes, it's pretty much as expected. It's not a heavy steering feel, but it's not really a loose steering feel either. It's, uh, it's pretty much as you would expect the Mirage G4 to be. A touch of visibility, actually, I can see perfectly fine out the back, so definitely not gonna have any issues there either. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Mitsubishi Mirage G4. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Mitsubishi Mirage G4 finished in sapphire 
blue metallic it real quick i'm just going to swing over to the window sticker real quick because i want you guys to see something all right so first off yes this is a 2022 i know some people like to think that i'm reviewing cars of previous years but i should start showing that from now on but anyways look at where this vehicle is made it is essentially tdm i'm gonna make that up it is thailand domestic market almost 100 percent in thailand usually you would think mitsubishi typically they're made in japan but the mirage g4 i guess is going to be made in thailand so that's a fun little fact for you guys in case you were curious all right so but anyways let's go ahead and start up front on the mirage g4 here silver accents on the front grille and of course across the front bumper then as well to the sides halogen headlights do come standard on all trim levels but the se trim level that is the only trim level that does not get halogens because of course the se trim is going to give you led low and and high beam headlights so you get full led headlights on a mirage that's pretty stinking cool and of course when it comes to the automatic feature the black edition and the se trims are going to give you that automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark and at night the headlights are going to turn on automatically for you there led daytime running lights are going to come with the se trim level only in case you were curious and if you wanted fog lights down below there you guys can see kind of the cutouts for them on this one but if you wanted fog lights go with the black edition or the se trim but anyways it pretty much rounds out the front end of this one Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side in the Mirage. All right, so now since we are around to the side of the Mirage G4, black window surrounds do come standard. Black side mirrors coming with the black edition trim level only, and there will be gloss black side mirrors. Body color side mirrors, however, coming with all other trim levels, as you guys are currently looking at. If you wanted LED integrated turret signals in the side mirrors, go with the SE, but otherwise, you kind of have that JDM look with the side turret signal indicators being on the front fenders, which I personally like. But anyways, then take a look down to the wheel configuration. 14 inch steel wheels with covers for the ES that's of course what you guys are currently looking at 15 inch alloys for the LE and SE trims and then 15 inch black alloys of course for the black edition but that pretty much rounds out the side let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so now this is probably my favorite look on the Mirage quite honestly especially the G4 so when it comes to that rear spoiler there is a body colored rear spoiler on all trim levels but the black edition because of course with the black edition you're going to get a black rear spoiler as expected you do have the G4 badging there on the left as you guys can see but led tail light surprise coming standard on every single trim level across the board and i like the tail light design i think it looks pretty darn good on this car if i'm being honest but you also get an led high mount stop lamp you guys can see that just above the rear spoiler kind of um on the lower portion of the rear glass as well so a lot of leds in the back which is important because you want somebody to be able to see you who is behind you so you don't end up hitting you of course so i absolutely love that just below you kind of kind of have an integrated rear diffuser you guys can see that a little bit but there is a single exhaust outlet tucked away to the right side there so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip All right, so but now since we are around back of the Mirage G4, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there's actually two different ways to go ahead and do that. There is, of course, a, uh, a place where you can put the key in. That is one way to go ahead and open it up back there. The other way is found on the driver's side floor. There's a little lever that you simply just lift up on. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 12.4 cubic feet. There is some cargo lighting back there as well. There is also a, uh, a center fold-down area, a pass-through area. You can put maybe like skis in or something like that. Like that so i do want to mention that there's no 60 40 split or anything unfortunately but you do have a little pass through area so that's kind of nice and if you lift up underneath of the cargo floor you will find a spare tire then as well but so then making our way to the rear legroom that is actually going to come in today kind of impressive for the size of this vehicle 37.3 inches so for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had in those rear seats there also, rear center armrest with cup holders coming standard for all trim levels as well. Didn't expect to see that on this particular price point. So you usually don't get that at this price point. So I like that as well. Don't need rear ventilation in the back. This is a small enough vehicle. You're not gonna have any issues there. And there's a single cup holder within the driver and passenger seat that the uh, rear passengers do have access to as well. So that's pretty nice. But then making our way to the front seats, manually adjustable cloth seats do come standard for all trim levels. There is a driver's seat armrest for the SE trim level you actually get heated front seats for the se trim level as well overall as far as seat comfort goes 
it's not the best honestly there, because of the lack of adjustments and again this comes back to the price point but because it's not as adjustable as some other vehicles it's maybe not the very best when it comes to seat comfort but you should be able to get by to take a look at the steering wheel it is not telescoping but it is tilt so it goes up and down it is leather wrapped for the black edition and se trim levels and then you get red stitching with the black edition then as well which is pretty cool but then make your way to the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key here you do have your Mitsubishi logo on the one side then when you flip it over lock and unlock but if you wanted to push button start go with the se trim level that's the only trim you're going to get that on but otherwise simply just put your foot on the brake and turn the key and so but then once started up speedometer is front and center tachometer is all the way to your left and there are some indicator lights to your right but there's no digital portion to the gauges or anything like that it's pretty simple there then making our way to overall interior quality automatic climate control does come standard for all trim levels across the board kind of surprised to see that meaning you just set a temperature and it's going to automatically reach that temperature for you so definitely a big fan of that at this price point especially just in front of the shifter you have dual cup holders just in front of that you actually have a usb charging port and then a little slot to put your phone as well which is pretty nice there is no center armrest storage or anything like that but there is a decent amount of storage within the glove box um then it looks like a massive owner's manual and there actually is a 12 volt power outlet in front of the shifter then as well but overall it's pretty basic pretty to the point it's practical so not a whole lot of fanciness going on as far as interior quality goes then take a look at the tech this is pretty good actually there is a seven inch color touchscreen display that comes standard for all trim levels across the board so i love that bluetooth and audio streaming does come standard but you also get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So for a car that starts at under $16,000, you got free navigation. All you got to do is hook your smartphone up to the USB port, and then you got navigation up on that screen. So I absolutely love that. That's pretty darn cool. And actually, it is pretty high quality. I got to be honest. It's not that bad. Pretty bright, and it's pretty darn quick as well. There's no lag to it, which, again, really surprised me. So well done, Mitsubishi there. As far as the sound systems go, you're actually going to get four speakers coming standard across the board. Again, not that large of a vehicle so you shouldn't need all that much more than that but having said that what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the sound system of this four speaker sound system that we have here all right that was me having the sound system cranked all the way up that is definitely not a loud sound system if i'm being honest not the most clarity and matter of fact if i'm being honest that may be the worst sound system that i've ever tested Anyways, if you're not into music, who really cares? This will get you from point A to point B. But last thing I wanted to mention to you on the infotainment screen is when you do put the Mirage G4 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. So to start, front side, side curtain airbags do come standard, but also a driver's knee airbag up front as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors to the tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard across the board. will include a forward collision mitigation system with pedestrian detection and hill start assist then as well. But then if you were to go with the SE trim, you're also going to get lane departure warning then added to that as well. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here, great gas mileage, obviously 40 miles per gallon is pretty darn great. You get America's best warranty, but not only that, if you go to Younger Mitsubishi in Hagerstown, Maryland, you get double that powertrain warranty as well which is pretty cool led taillights coming standard still is amazing at this price point so i absolutely love that it not only helps with the design it looks good but also helps with visibility it's a safety feature in itself excellent price point as i've been saying as far as room for improvement goes this thing is extremely slow the sound system isn't all that great and not a whole lot of advanced safety coming standard either but let me know what you guys think of the mirage g4 in the comment section below that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.